For the people in the western and southern provinces of Rwanda, a drone can mean the difference between life and death. Drones have now become the preferred method of delivering blood to hospitals in areas that are not easily accessible by road. Lives have been saved as a result. The Ministry of Health took a leap of faith when they decided to partner with Zipline, a Silicon Valley robotics company that operates a drone delivery service system. Uh, when the idea came, it was just an idea, a concept. How to prove it? It was Rwanda to prove it happening because nowhere in the world it had never happened like that. The government took this bold decision three years ago which has greatly improved the quality of healthcare offered in rural areas. When the service started, it was to test its viability and see if it could offer a better delivery method compared to the existing truck delivery system, which was taking too long. You know that life is time sensitive. So I can imagine a hospital like Mohororo which to, pro, to get provision of blood would do five hours, two ways, to get blood supplies by truck. So far now, 20 minutes. For facilities that are located even further from the regional center of blood transfusion, it would take up to eight hours to deliver the blood. You can be operating on a mother giving birth, and then 20 minutes, you will just call and the drone will be sending you the blood. The drone can carry up to two units of blood and travels up to 75 kilometers using satellite navigation. So far, they were in phase one, servicing the west, southern part of Rwanda. And out of 21 hospitals, they are now at 17th hospital service. The package is safely and securely wrapped in a box and when the drone releases it, a biodegradable parachute automatically opens up to guide its landing. This is one of the world's first commercial drone delivery services. All government institutions came together to really work hard and to make sure that we give an opportunity to a startup tech company and now we can feel the difference. The process begins with a simple text message or a call and ends up with a drop 20 minutes later. So far, 14 hospitals have benefited from the drone delivery service and the government is looking to expand these services to southwest and western parts of Rwanda. Now they're going to build a new drone port in the eastern part of Rwanda in Kayonza district so that they can serve the eastern and northern part of Rwanda. Together with Zipline, the ministry is working on building a second drone port so that they can cover the whole of Rwanda. The drones have completed a total of 5,000 flights and transported 7,000 units of blood to several health facilities.